Have you ever wanted to make an origami Quran made with the Quran itself, Quranagami style? Today I'm going to show you how. In keeping with the real version, this one also has a sneaky snake named Allah inside, ready to pop out. There are so many verses in the Quran that prove Allah is a liar and deceiver and Islam is false, even by its own standards. To go over all of these verses with me, make sure to check out my first video on Islam. For the snake, I specifically showcase Surah 354, and they plan to deceive, and Allah planned to deceive, and Allah is the best of deceivers. Muslims, if you're watching this video, please leave me a comment and let me know if you are aware of your God's deception, and now that you are, if you still want to be led by a liar and why. I truly want to know your answers. So many Muslims don't even seem to care, but they do care when Quran and Gami is made, so let's seize this opportunity to share the truth with others and destroy the deception by making even more Quran creations. The only supply you need is a page of the Quran, though ideally you'll also want something to measure with, something to cut with, paper-like tape, a red marker, and a black pen. We want this to be a fun and educational process, so don't worry about matching all of my details if you don't want to. I personally use an Arabic-only Quran to preemptively address those who complain about it being translated to otherwise, but feel free to use whatever version you want or have. You can also use a random page with random verse placement, but if you want to get a bit fancier, you can find the page of Sarah 354 or another evil verse as Alec Lyons prompted for this project. After selecting your desired page, go ahead and rip it out. If you're planning to display a verse on the body of the snake, take some time to measure that section and the parts above it and below it. Once you cut the page into a square, you'll immediately fold it in half, and from that point, you'll want the verse to be displayed in the middle of the remaining section. Also, make sure it doesn't extend into the top fourth or the bottom fourth of the half square. So plan this out beforehand so everything lines up well down the line. Here you see me with my half square, but Quran pages are pretty thin, so as I recommended, start with a full square and then fold it in half so your Allah snake can pop out even more. Make sure to set aside the rest of the page for later use as well. After achieving our half square, we'll go ahead and fold the entire thing in half hot dog style, meaning it'll become longer and skinnier. For future reference, the other way to fold things in half is considered hamburger style, which would make the paper less long and less skinny than it previously was, but we'll save those types of folds for later. Now go ahead and open the paper back up to the half square, and if applicable, put the side with the selected verse facing down on the table. We're going to take the bottom edge of the half square and fold it up to that center crease line, and take the top edge and fold it down to meet up with that center line as well. Make sure as you do each fold, you're giving each line a nice strong crease by running your fingernail along the folded edges to flatten them down and make them crisp. This is important in enabling you to make future folds without the paper getting bunched up and it will also look neater too. Next, flip your paper back over and confirm the verse is still displayed how you intended and it's completely visible for reading. Once it is, you're set to go ahead and fold it hamburger style so that the two edges meet together at the top as they do for me, then create a crease there where the new bottom has formed. We're going to flip it upside down now so the new crease is at the top and then fold the bottom edge up to the top, flip it over, and then do the same for the other side. If you successfully followed what I meant by that, congratulations, you now have a very small square. Go ahead and open that square back up to the thin strip we created earlier where you see the verse displayed. The crease is displayed now to create four square sections side by side. Fold these squares back up together again, and let's start folding them each in half, back and forth accordion style to create the body of the snake. So, fold the first square in half up to the first crease line, then fold the next square down behind it. Fold the next crease line up to the top, crease the bottom, and then fold the next square down behind it. Repeat this process until you have accordion folded the whole strip until the end. Give it a nice good crease and then open it back up to make sure it looks like mine does here. Gather it together again, hold one edge, and confirm it looks like a book with pages. Then open the entire thing back up to our original half square. Make sure the verse is right side up on the page, but facing down towards the table. Then fold the entire top left hand corner down in a triangle to the center crease of the half square. Take the entire bottom left hand corner and fold it up into a triangle meeting at the center crease. If you guys have ever made paper airplanes, that part should be pretty reminiscent. 
Open one of the triangles we just created and start to fold it back, holding the tip of the folded edge firmly. Then take the loose tip of the triangle and fold it up to me at that point as well. Continue to hold that tip as you crease the new diagonal edge and flatten the bottom fourth of the page back up to the center line. Repeat the same process for the other paper airplane leg triangle. If you need to open up the completed side, it may make this side a little easier, but that's optional. Hopefully I worded this well to minimize confusion, however, this is the most difficult section to do and explain, so feel free to pause and rewind as much as you want. If you're still on track, we should now have our long strip with a snake head at the end. Go ahead and accordion fold this strip again and get excited. You have now completed all the folds needed for all of the snake and the pages he disguises himself in. Now we just need to make a book cover and add the finishing touches. Go ahead and pull out whatever was left over from the Quran page we cut up earlier when you're ready to move on. Personally, I wanted the Karanagami Quran cover to include the QR code from this page to read and listen to it again in Arabic and English if needed. Figure out what section you want to use and cut out a square that's a fourth of the size of your original square or half the size of your original half square. Fold it in half so whatever section you want to be on the outside is showing on one side and the inside section is showing on the other. We're now going to grab our Allah Snake book pages and slide part of our cover into the end opposite of the snake head. You may need to open up the folds to the center of the snake just a little bit to get the cover in there, but you only need to slide it to that first crease line and close the back of. Flip the snake over so you're looking at the verse face up, close the pages, and ignore the next fold I do as I was trying to figure out what to do, and we'll actually just fold the cover in half over top of the snake pages. You'll see me trying to smooth out my extra fold, but hopefully that's not applicable for you. If your cover is folded in half across the pages, close the whole book, then flip it so the spine is on the right hand side and the opening is on the left hand side as Arabic books are. This is opposite to English books, but proper for the way Arabic is read. What you should see is your front cover, and your snake head should be at the back of your book so you can read through the Quran and be surprised by what you see once you have. Make sure once again that everything is lined up how you like and you're ready for the final touches. It's time to set your book aside and grab some tape, your red marker, and a black pen. I'm personally using painter's tape because that's what I had on hand, but you could also use red duct tape, red washi tape, or any tape that's papery and can be recolored. You can also just use ribbon or another piece of the Quran if you want. Cut a thin, long strip the size you want for your Quran's bookmark in Allah's tongue. Very carefully cut a triangle out of the end. Pull off the triangle that you cut out, and you should have something that resembles this. If it isn't already red and you want it to be, color your bookmark in with your marker. Theoretically, a colored pencil, crayon, or paint could also work to color with. Next, draw two long, thin red lines on your snake head to form slit eyes, then outline them in black pen or pencil for extra pop. Above the eyes, add two black evil eyebrows to complete the look. Once the face is done, stick or otherwise fasten the tape inside all his mouth and done! I hope you've enjoyed completing this fun project with me and can utilize it to spread truth and destroy deception. If you need tips on how to utilize your new tool, let me know and I'd be happy to brainstorm some with you. I'm also planning to put Coronagami designs on my merch store soon, so stay tuned for those releases. I'd love to see your version, so please show it off and tag me on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or send me a direct message or email. I may even repost it too! I like displaying mine on top of the Quran with the Quranagami saber. I'm excited to see where you'll put yours. For now though, let's close in prayer. Oh god, you're so good. Dear Yahweh, 
true creator of heaven and earth and us. Please help us to see the truth and to know the truth and to live in truth and tell the truth. Please help us to not fall for the lies around us and to cling to you because you are true. You are so good. May your will be done. May it be done in us and through us for your glory, God. Amen. So may it be done. <laughs>